You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Ball. What's going on, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB here, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another NASCAR Authentics Wave Review. Today we'll be reviewing the 2019 Wave 2 that was just recently released from Lionel Racing's The Fix on their latest episode. So let's go ahead and check this out, guys. But uh, before I do, we'll go ahead and say more about this newly released Wave from Lionel Racing. Uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for your continuing support, and actually you guys is uh great support on the first episode that we did of these NASCAR Authentics Wave reviews. And for any guys out there who have not been in tune or have not been updated with what's been going on lately with my NASCAR Authentics news, um, I'm basically, these have been discontinued from the Diecast news and I made them in separate videos just for, you know, ju just to keep the episodes of the Diecast news a little more on a time constraint and, uh, that's basically that, guys. I mean, I want to make those episodes as, you know, time-friendly as possible. And um, plus, you know, this will bring a lot more content to the channel, guys, since I do love talking about NASCAR Authentics. So without further ado, and with that in mind, let's go ahead and talk about the 2019 wave of NASCAR Authentics of Wave 2. So we got 10 new releases to be talking about, and four of them are actually exclusives. And um, actually, some of these cars have 2019 diecast. And before I say anything else, no, there are no 164 trucks, guys. So, Howard Hitchcock kind of BS'd us, but maybe there's a chance for Wave 3, guys. He did say Wave 2 or Wave 3, so Howard Hitchcock, you bet your rear that we're going to have it for Wave 3 or else. Well, then again, Lionel does like to troll us. But anyways, let's go ahead and do this Wave review, guys. So, we're going to go in numerical order like we always, and uh, let's go and get things started. So, we got some Austin Dillon diecast to show you guys, so huh, three for Dale. So, we got a 2018 release that... Um, and this is actually the fourth throwback that we got released in a row for Austin Dillon. It is his American Ethanol Dawn's throwback car, which is a throwback to the great Dale Earnhardt Sr. So really cool. And it seems like Dale Sr. just passed by because I just heard a really loud exhaust. So, uh, you know, praise Dale, raise hail. <laughs> um, I think I just said that backward, but oh well. Got to have fun with these episodes, guys. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is such a really nice looking car, guys. The metallic finish, they did an amazing job with this car. I mean, I know I criticize Lionel for a lot of stuff, and trust me, I do. After all, I am a diecast critic. <laughs> I got nothing else better to do. <laughs> um, they, they did a really great job with this metallic finish, guys, both in both scales, guys. I mean, whether you get this car in the 164 or the 124 scale, you got to admit, so they, they did a really nice job. I mean, uh, and a really nice effort. I mean, it's probably by far my favorite uh, American Ethanol throwback scheme that we got for this year. Well, and all together for NASCAR Authentics. And uh, I probably just already said it, guys. But yeah, we've had every single Austin Dillon Dawn's throwback car in NASCAR Authentics waves. I mean, how about that? And feel free to comment below which Dawn's throwback Austin Dillon car has been your favorite. I have to say this one is probably my favorite. And right behind that is probably the uh, 2017 car. So, um, yeah, just overall, guys, really nice, solid edition. I was probably definitely expecting this car in a wave. So glad to see it's going to be in for wave two. But now on to the 2019 car, guys. We get the Austin Dillon Dow Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. And uh, this is, uh, you know, a no surprise right here. This was, you know, going to be one of the uh, early releases that we got for the Chevrolet Camaro diecast. And, um, you know, Rich Dell's racing, man. They got to love changing the paint schemes. They did it last year with the uh, the fade. And uh, Lionel got the wrong fade on the Dow car. And uh, once again, we will be having an inaccurate Dow car because uh, where the red number three is, they have changed that. Our Richard Childress has changed that to a white number, probably because a lot of people complain that the red number didn't match up well with this car. And I got to admit, I mean, the white number three will look nice, but... We will once again have another outdated Austin Dillon car, which, you know, sucks. But, you know, I mean, <laughs> they could have come up with something better before they, you know, released the render of this car. So, either way, you know, Lionel can't win with that. But, um, you know, if I had to say, is this paint scheme a better looking car than last year's? I still prefer last year's. I mean, last year really, I mean, it kind of gave me an illusion that the car had texture. This one, you know, is very basic. I mean, nothing really much going on. Um, believe it or not, I think this actually, this paint scheme actually inspired, um, to, that actually inspired and actually has the same paint scheme layout as Martin Directioner's Bass Pro Shops car. Now, I know the Dow car was, you know, released in the renders first, but I find that pretty interesting. So, I mean, not really created paint schemes, especially since, you know, Martin Directioner's Bass Pro Shops car kind of followed along with it. But, I mean, it's still a pretty solid choice. I mean, I, I would say, but, you know, I, I'm still 50-50 on this car. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. But, you know, 
you might not miss out on this car considering we've had a lot of Dow cars released in many NASCAR Authentics waves. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this one goes. Maybe if I look at it in the stores, maybe I'll change my mind. Next up, we got the another 2019 release, and it is Chase Elliott's Napa Auto Parts car. Now, I'm actually really excited about this car because this car, I mean, yeah, it's similar to last year's. I mean, it, it, it just has some basic... Uh, it's got the updated Napa scheme because they did change that last year. It looks like the blue is a lot more uh, brighter compared to uh, last year's car, which was very dark. And um, I can see there's no Senate Energy One logo. And is it just me or is that nine is just, I don't know, it, it's it's very off-centered. Maybe this is the second time in a row we got a Chase Elliott car that has the nine car off-centered. I'm looking at you, Sun Energy One 27, uh, 2018 car. But um, I don't know. I mean, that, that really does bug me, but... Uh, it's probably better off getting this car than the 2018 car, guys, because you guys remember the 2018 Napa car. It had those dreadful chicken scratch metallic finish flakes on those cars. I, and it, it just the metallic finish was so garbage on those cars. This car is a lot more cleaned up and actually has, it looks like it has the right metallic finish. So I'm glad to see Lionel cleaned up with our quality control and we actually got a proper Chase Elliott car. So if any guys out there who are very disappointed in uh, your Chase Elliott car from last year, then this is a great car to replace it. And as for the other one, I mean, might as well put it in the shelf of shame because that car is pretty much garbage <laughs> when it comes to, you know, quality wise. Next up, we got a, uh, we got some Johnson throwback cars in this wave. Yet another one. This is an Xfinity car, which, I mean, was canceled, but, uh, it's, uh, Danny Hamlin's Sport Clips Dawn's throwback car. I mean, um, and I believe this is a, uh, an Xfinity car. So this is the first Xfinity car that we got released for 2019 for the 2019 waves. And uh, I believe this is a throwback to JD, uh, yeah, I believe uh, to JD Gibbs, if I'm not mistaken. So that is a really nice looking throwback considering, you know, what just happened with, uh, you know, um, with, uh, with that uh, familiar name. <laughs> Uh, God bless. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a very basic design. I mean, I, I, I believe this was based off of JD Gibbs is, um, one of his old rides, but I mean, you know, it's driven by, you know, a cup leecher. Not too many people do that, not like cup leechers. So, and hence why the car was canceled, but this is a NASCAR Authentics exclusive. So probably might go out and get it. I mean, it'll be a great addition to go along with the Eric Jones Sport Clips throwback and the Danny Hamlin Sport Clips throwback that we got from 2016. So I'm glad to see we're starting to get a lot more Sport Clips diecast. I know how, how I mentioned that on the last, uh, uh, on the last, uh, wave review. So, I mean, seems like Lionel kind of took that advice pretty well, but I, I, I think this car might not sell too well, but probably will because it is exclusive. But then again, it's, you know, a cup leecher driving the Xfinity series and, you know, they're not really preferred when it comes to that series, but I don't know. We'll see how this goes, but I do like that, um, that uh, unique font that we got on this car. Definitely has some throwback vibes to it. All right, we got another 18 car to show you guys that was also released in 2018, and this is yet another exclusive, and this was yet another car that I uh, kind of mentioned uh, on, uh, what, like two episodes ago of the NASCAR Diecast News when I reviewed uh, the guy who finished, uh, almost won this uh, race. We got to talk about Kyle Busch, guys, in the Skittles Red, White, and Blue with Chicagoland race win. So I find it pretty funny that um, in the Gold Series that they only offered Kyle Larson's car, um, the race version in the 164, but they never offered the official winner. But that changes until now, guys. We got the official win of this car and probably one of the most exciting finishes that we got from 2018, along with the Charlotte Roval and many others. So... Really nice addition. I mean, I'm glad to see we got an alternate Skittle scheme in the, in the NASCAR Authentics wave because, uh, I mean, well, actually, yeah, this is believe actually the third time we've got an alternate uh, Skittle scheme, guys. We've had the basic Skittles car, and then we've had the throwback car, and now we got the patriotic car. So glad to see that Lionel was able to add that in. And um, this car has confetti on it, and it's got, you know, of course, it's got those race marks to it, guys, especially with that uh, crazy beating and banging battle between uh, the two Kyles. So, I mean, this car just is going to go great. And, um, I kind of, I, I, I want to go out of the order, but, uh, we'll probably, let's just say there is another car that is similar to this that ran at the same race that we'll be talking about very soon. Next up, we got, uh, another 2019 release and it is William Byron's Liberty University car. It's basically just like last year's car, but they never made the updated version of 
last year's car with the white numbers. So glad to see they were able to do that. And, um, no, I'm really digging the white numbers, guys, and they added a lot more uh, white trim to this car as well. Um, you know, the white definitely blends in very well with the red and the blue. I mean, the paint scheme still is kind of basically the same as last year's, but, I mean, if you really like those white numbers instead of the red ones, then this would be a great uh, a great addition, guys. I mean, uh, this is like the third Liberty University car that we got released for uh, William Byron. Well, I want to say two because, God, I don't really want to count Wave 12 as an official wave, but, you know, that's that. That's the thing of the past now. <laughs> but, um, you know, pretty solid choice. I was, I mean, um, I don't know, maybe we'll get his Hertz car very soon, probably in another NASCAR Authentics wave. I mean, uh but I, I was definitely expecting this car in wave two or one of the waves sooner or later. Uh, and, uh, how, and how can I forget, guys, the other Chicagoland car that I had to talk about that I just, uh, recently mentioned on the Kyle Busch car. We got to talk about Kyle Larson's Credit One Bank Stars Chicagoland race version car because that's going to be a NASCAR Authentics form. And it's also going to be in a liquid color chase piece as well, guys. So, I mean, really cool. But back to the uh, original um, Credit One Bank scheme, um, you know, what can I say? This is a, that, that you could probably get this car as a set now, guys, because, you know, you got both Chicagoland race wins, well, raced versions in this wave. So, great timing for lying out to do that guys i mean i didn't think they were going to do that i thought they were going to wait on the kyle bush car but they did guys but uh yeah this car is not exclusive the regular release but um the um chase piece is though because you guys know how rare the chase pieces are but now to the the review of the chase piece i mean um the metallic blue uh well this metallic liquid blue you know looks pretty solid i mean um i i think like i don't know blue is like the best color in my opinion when it comes to liquid color cars i mean because uh we saw how cool it, how cool the liquid blue is on the win and rewards car for matt kenseth in the chase elliott uh uh, first win at Walker's Glen. So, um, I, I don't know, man. If they can keep releasing more blue chase piece cars, I think they're going to sell very well. I mean, of course, this one is probably going to be, uh, I mean, God almighty. I thought the 2018 chase piece cars were going to be hard to find. 2019 waves are already looking pretty hard to find, guys. I mean, we got Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson as the first two chase pieces. And those are pretty big. Those two have very big fan bases. So, I mean, I highly doubt no that we, I'm ever going to find these cars or anybody else. I mean, if any guys do, then, I mean, congrats, because it's going to be like a treasure hunt finding these cars, I mean, at this rate. I mean, they were easy to find at the first few, but these 2019 ones for the chase pieces, I, I think they're going to be very difficult so far considering the drivers that they picked for this year. And uh, the last two to be talking about in this wave, we got to talk about uh, Bowman, Alex Bowman's Exalta car. Same car as last year, but it actually has the Lumar window film uh, logo on there. And uh, I believe that's it. I mean, so if you missed out on the Exalta car from last year, which was released in the early wave of 2018, this would be a great uh, buy for it. Plus, you get an alternate magnet as well. Well, I, well, you got the plastic hood. I think they came with it last year. So you get a magnet with this. So that's pretty cool. And the final car to be talking about, which I'm, you know, pretty disappointed that they made this car considering, you know, this guy single-handedly ruined Ross Chastain's uh, chance of winning the Darlington race. It is Kevin Harvick's 2018 Hum Brothers Pizza Dawn's Throwback. Now... I was, you know, kind of uncertain that this is going to make it a NASCAR Authentics wave. Now, I know the Hunt Brothers Pizza cars, you know, that they have been released, you know, what this is like, I believe, what, like the third time we've got a Hunt Brothers Pizza car released, um, considering the 2017 car and the 2018 car. So w when I saw that this car was canceled, I was like, okay, maybe they're going to release it. But the scheme is basically just like the regular release. But the paint scheme is paying a tribute throwback to, uh, you know, Kevin Harvick, one of Kevin Harvick's old ride in, uh, what, like the early 90s. I believe is what that number 75 Spears car, I believe. If you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, that's what this car is representing. But, um, you know, this car, I, I got a feeling a lot of people are not going to like it. And I find it funny that they put a Kyle Larson car right by this as well. <laughs> I mean, God almighty, you might as well just add a Ross Chastain uh, DC Solar car in this car, in this wave. And, you know, we'll just call this, you know, the uh, the BS wave, right? <laughs> but um, in all seriousness, guys, I mean, I mean, th this might be a great addition 
for any guys who are Kevin Hart fans, I know a lot of fans out there and friends I know who are Kevin Hart fans that probably will want this. But I think for the vast majority of everybody else, I mean, I think people are going to mostly avoid this car and the Denny Hamlin throwback, considering that they're both cup leechers. And yeah, I know these cars are exclusive, but, um, you know, People just get really bad vibes looking at this car considering, you know, what Kevin Harvick said with Ross Chastain, which I know came true, but, you know, Kevin Harvick's attitude, I mean, that's just how he is. Got, gotta love him, am I right? <laughs> but with that in mind, guys, that wraps up this, uh, Wave 2 2019 NASCAR Authentics, uh, review, thoughts and opinions. Uh, feel free if you guys have anything, uh, to share as well, including your thoughts and opinions on this wave. If I had to say, you know, if I had to get a rating on this wave, I mean, it's definitely lower than Wave 1 for sure. I mean, yeah, we got some 2019 releases, but I mean, nothing too exciting. I mean, I think the most exciting car that I like in this wave that's an exclusive is probably that Kyle Busch, uh, uh, Skittles race to win, but I mean, I think everything else, you know, I, I, we were kind of, I, I think I was expecting to see majority of these cars in a wave. So, I mean, pretty predictable, pr predictable wave. I'll probably give this a good solid, uh, I don't know, a good solid seven out of 10. I mean, not a bad wave, not terrible, but just, you know, very meh. So, I mean, probably could have done something a little bit better. I would have got rid of the Hamlin and the Harvick cars, if that's my opinion. But, um, and you guys are probably wonder what cars I'm planning to get. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm pro I'm definitely not getting Alex Bowman's Exalta car, considering I just got that car last year. Um, I don't know. I, I think I want to get mostly all of them, except for Chase Elliott's uh, Napa car and maybe Alex Bowman's Exalta. Well, I don't know. I mean... This wave will be good for any new collectors out there. Let's just say that. But uh, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, diecast uh, wave review. And um, hopefully we will see wave one and wave two in stock in the shelves very soon. And uh, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in another diecast news and another wave review for NASCAR Authentics.